Hi, you are watching YouTube channel Classified Pakistan. Today our topic is history taking of hypertension. When taking a history for a patient with hypertension, it's essential to gather comprehensive information to understand the condition fully. Here is a structured approach. 1. Patient identification. Name, age, sex, and contact information. Relevant demographics, ethnicity, occupation. 2. Chief complaint. Ask about any symptoms or concerns related to high blood pressure, e.g., headaches, dizziness, chest pain. 3. History of present illness. Duration. When was the hypertension diagnosed? Previous readings. What have the blood pressure readings been? Symptoms. Any related symptoms like palpitations, fatigue, or visual changes. Treatment. Any medications taken, adherence to treatment, and side effects experienced? 4. Past medical history. History of hypertension. Any previous episodes, severity, and treatment. Other medical conditions. Diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, or thyroid disorders. 5. Family history. Hypertension in family members, parents, siblings, and their ages at diagnosis. Other cardiovascular diseases in the family. 6. Social history. Lifestyle factors. Diet, salt intake. Physical activity, smoking, and alcohol consumption. Stress levels and coping mechanisms. Socioeconomic factors that may influence health care access. 7. Review of systems. Cardiovascular, chest pain, palpitations, shortness of breath. Neurological, headaches, dizziness, or visual changes. Renal, changes in urination or swelling. 8. Medications. Current medications include over-the-counter drugs, supplements, and herbal remedies, previous antihypertensive medications, and responses. 9. Physical examination. Although this is not part of the history, a basic examination will include measuring blood pressure in both arms and assessing for signs of end organ damage, e.g., heart sounds, kidney examination. Conclusion. This structured approach helps to identify potential causes of hypertension, assess the severity, and guide appropriate management. It's important to foster an open dialogue to ensure the patient feels comfortable sharing relevant information.